Hi and Happy New Year. I thought I'd do a quick daytime look for you today and something a bit different. I'm actually going to do this side of my face with some makeup and leave this side just to show you that you don't need many products um, to just create a nice put together look if you just want to pop out and um, just not frighten anyone like me. So I've also got a few new products to try that I haven't had a chance to try yet so I'm going to do a bit of a first impressions of some of the products as well. So I've started off by using my Avon um, Lisa Armstrong All About The Base Priming Moisturiser. Fabulous dupe for the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base if you want one. And then instead of foundation I'm just going to start with my IU um, Under Eye Concealer and I'm just going to see how much of my imperfections I can actually perfect. Uh, without actually going in with foundation. So I'm just using this to cancel out any redness. It's quite hard just to do half your face actually. And then I'm just going to pat that in. I haven't got the IU concealer brush yet, um, which I do recommend that you pat the product on with that. I tend to use my fingers, I've used fingers, I've used the beauty blender. Um, and now I'm using this. This is just a synthetic brush. I think I got these off eBay. But it looked like the texture was similar to the IU, IU brush. So I thought I'd see what that was like. So that's actually without any uh, foundation. I'm just going to put a little bit over my eyelid because I'm not using a base today. Just pat that in. And all this is doing is cancelling out any redness. So then I'm going to try the new Lisa Armstrong by Avon. Uh, this is the Cheat the Heat Bronzing Powder. I haven't used this before. It's a matte finish, which I really like. And I'm just going to use my Kit Stars. Uh, this is the N1. It's actually the powder brush, but I like this for bronzer. It doesn't matter what brushes are designed for. If you find something that works, then just use it. So I'm just putting this around the perimeter of my face just to create a little bit of warmth and just a contour at the same time. Just going just with what's left on the edge of the brush. I'm trying to do this into my iPhone rather than using a mirror. It's uh, not great, but we'll have a go. So just blending that out and blending it up onto my cheekbone. I want to keep it quite high. And then just again with the same big brush, just for sheer quickness, I'm just going into my socket and I'm just kind of pulling that out. So it's just added a little bit of contour for something, but it's actually spending ages. Then I'm going to, use, as always, use my NYX Brow Styler, Micro Brow Styler, I think this one is, um, in the shade Medium Brow. Oh, I'm just going to brush the hairs up and I'm literally just filling in any gaps, just using little hair strokes. It's literally just perfecting what's there and just across the top. I'm not trying to create a big blocky brow. I'm just literally perfecting my brow and just making it look like I've made a little bit of effort. But nothing too drastic and then brush the product up to through the brows just to make it look more natural and it just helps distribute the product a little bit as well. Okay, then let's see, I'll do mascara next I think. So this is the Lisa Armstrong Miraculous Volume. So my phone just telling me it's running out of battery. Miraculous Volume Mascara. Never use this at all, so that's what it's going to be like. Seems okay. 
nothing spectacular, I wouldn't say. It's just a nice mascara. It's a little bit overloaded on the brush, maybe. Literally the first time I've opened this. Oh, but it's nice. It's nice and black. My lashes are super, super straight, as you will know. If you've seen any of my videos, so I never expect anything ridiculously amazing from a mascara <laughs> other than a bit of extra colour. So I'm happy with that just for one coat. I might just give them another coat and just wait for that to dry in a minute. And then I'm going to have a look at the uh, Lisa Ro Armstrong. This is the Claire lip pencil and the lipstick that goes with it is called Clary. I don't know whether that's a deliberate, uh, I don't think it's an accident, <laughs> they've called it slightly different. So this side of my lip is slightly thinner and less rounded than the other side so I always just like to go over the top a little bit but then follow the natural line down and again underneath just following the natural line. And then I do like to just fill in a little bit. Just seems to give the lipstick something to grab hold of, although it gloss. And then I'll just add another coat of mascara just before it dries completely. It's nice and black and it separates the lashes quite nicely. Nothing will lift my lashes apart from the treatment. Okay, then let's just put a little bit of lipstick on. So I really like the packaging of these. This is like a matte. Um, it's really nice. I really like the colour. And this is kind of a natural pinky beige. I think this would pretty much suit anybody. It's really, really nice. It's matte, but creamy, if that makes sense. I'm not drying at all. And the colour, I can't imagine anyone that that wouldn't suit. It's really, really nice. Right, I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of blush. So I've got my highlighting dome, my Body Shop highlighting dome. And I'm just going to pop this on the cheek. And then just use my fingers to blend, just to give a little bit of glow, but nothing too ridiculous or obvious. I'm trying to see what I'm doing desperately. It does help. Okay, and I'll probably leave it. I was honestly just going out that's all I would do so there's the side with a little bit of lips makeup on and there's the side that isn't done so you can see that side just looks a little bit more polished I look a little bit less tired and this side mm. <laughs> just needs something it's just a slight lift a slight improvement it doesn't like I'm wearing loads and loads of makeup it's just perfected what I've already got um, I will probably add a bit of eyeliner if I had a little bit more time, but that will take me to the supermarket. I'm not going to frighten anybody, hopefully. And uh, yeah, it didn't take too long. So I hope you like that. Thank you. See you. Take care. And here's the finished look. I thought I'd better finish off the other side for you. Okay, hope you like that. See you soon. Take care. Bye.